Hello, I've come to Studley Royal uh, in search of the deer and I've just found them but they're right across the other side of the park now, right over there on the horizon so what I'm going to do is check my way a bit closer and <coughs> there you can see them with the 500 lens they're a long way away so I'm going to work my way closer see what I can get Right, come to this large oak tree. Uh, it's been used throughout history. The inside of it is hollow. Uh, look here. This hole here is what they used to shoot out of to cull the deer. And this hole here is how they get in. It's not a very big hole, and you can see how old it is because it was cut out square but the tree is growing and filling in the hole through the other side there you can see the out hole with the rifle here we have a red deer and a fawn last year's in the background you can see the seeker the stag right in the centre of the shot. That's a black fallow. In the background there, you see the red deer. Uh, this fella here, the thin antlers, he's, he's not so old. It's not, not a mature adult. There's a seeker stag in the centre. Red stag in the foreground. Another one there doing a bit of cleaning. One, two, three, four, five pointer. So he's about five year old. Big fella here, he's about six year old. Here we have a fallow stag. The animals are a lot flatter, they're called palmate, like the palm of your hand. So I've worked my way closer. Um, hidden behind this fallen tree. Well, I say hidden, they know I'm here. But they don't feel as threatened because I'm not a full uh, human outline. So, stags are posing a little bit. Uh, a lot of them are just laid down. I'm not that bothered down here. I can see somebody at the other side of the other side of the bird. About six people. I think they've got a dog with them. This is possibly what's causing the herd to start moving. The fallows are very skittish. And they're usually the first to make a move. This fallow just come a lot closer. That's at 180, uh, 170ml lens. A 
all the males and females are all intermingling. It suggests that the rut is over and they've all gone back to living as one happy bunch again. Working away a little bit closer. So now we get some single stag shots with ease. Buck's just been having a tussle with that one running away from him. A bit of a challenge going on. Over in the distance, there's a pair of fallow bucks having a battle. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can hear the antlers crashing. There they are. seeker in the foreground tying with the branch I'm wanting to get a bit closer but the lie of the land's not letting me it's very flat here and they're just over the rise yards away from me just here uh, 40 about 40 yards away heard a fallow deer there's um, some seeker interspersed with them and the fallow keep um, well, battling really for the females um, the rut seems to be getting underway with the fallows now. So I've got a couple of battles. Uh, try to work my way closer, uh, sticking to the trees. Uh, 
work my way closer and try and get some frame filling shots of the main battle. They're up. A bit of lunch. Oh, hot coffee. Ah, Joy's taking a stove with you. Bit of hot lunch as well. Why not, eh? Right, so I'm here at Studley Royal. Filming the fallow rut. Uh, here with me, Sony A77 and the old Sigma 170 to 500 lens. I'm shooting at ISO 640, which isn't a problem. Uh, I mean, I've tested my camera and I'm happy with ISOs up to 1250 so I don't have a problem with that the only problem when you go to higher ISOs is if you want to crop in uh, because it exaggerates the noise then uh, there is software you can use to reduce the noise but I don't like to go over 1250 with mine uh, it's on a crop sensor so it's already cropped in anyway so ISO 320, fast enough to freeze the motion, freeze the action. And, uh, I've just come to a bit of a stalemate with the fallows at the moment. You can see them all here. They're only, what, 40 yards away, if that. Yeah, about 35 yards. And come to a bit of a stalemate. They're they've got their distance that they feel comfortable with 
and sometimes they get a bit more skittish than usual. Uh, there's been a lot of the stags have been fighting for the females, for the rut. And now they've just sort of like, they're all milling about together. And uh, they come up into this corner and they're just sort of like milling about. If I move forward towards them, they'll move away. Uh, but in the cover of the dead nettles and there's a clump of trees here. So there isn't really the space for them to fight. But if I was to move forward, which would move them out of this, into the clearing, then the males would probably start fighting again. But I don't want to instigate that, because that's affecting on their natural behaviours. So I'm just going to wait for them to move. And they seem to be creeping away from me at the moment. through this gap. So they're creeping away from me at the moment so I'll wait till they've moved on a bit. So there's a lot of them still staying put and then I'll move forward uh, to follow them. Right, counting the points on his antlers, this one looks about 10 years old. He's one of the main ones that's been doing a lot of the battling. This is a big fella. He's about nine, ten year old. Seeker female, and a very young calf. Well, I've had quite a nice day here at uh, Studley Royal. Uh, see the deer all behind me. Uh, mainly seeker in this little bit here. They follow over there and the reds in between. Got some, uh, got a, a lot of footage of uh, fallow uh, rutting, uh, a bit of reds uh, sparring, and I got a bit of the seeker sparring as well. So if, uh, I'm quite happy with what I've got today. Well, sun's about to set. Uh, the light, well, yeah, the light is fading. It's been a bit dull all day. Uh, it's definitely getting dull now. Dim. Uh, so, I'm going to head back to the car. And call it a day.
as I'm heading back to car, I'm just looking round and uh, a lot of trees like this, a lot of them, and should make for a good winter sunset. Come back and uh, do a bit of landscape photography here. Catch you on the flip side.